Hey guys. Hey, how are you? Jennifer Masson here. Are you struggling? It is day three of the sugar detox challenge and uh, you know, it's a challenge, that's for sure. So, are you drinking your water with lemon? I've got mine right here. Actually, I have um, grapefruit tinted sparkling water. And uh, anyhow, so I have to tell you, I am originally from New Jersey. Hey everybody, hey Denise. I'm from New Jersey and up there are the best bagels in the world. Okay, so anybody from the Northeast can relate, if you can relate, throw it out there, yes. I'm going to attempt today to make low carb bagels. Is it possible? Well, here's the recipe, okay? And it's from this book, The New Yiddish Kitchen. I've been wanting to make these. They're kinda, you know, it's, it's definitely not, I wouldn't say keto, maybe if you have half, you could fit it into your keto day. Um, but I'm gonna try it and see what happens. Anyhow, here are the ingredients, and I have to pre-measure everything, okay? And sorry, you know, sorry you guys, this glare up here, I don't know how to get rid of this. It's my kitchen, it's because of the hood, so hopefully it's not too bad. Um, pot of boiling water. There are kind of a couple of things you need to do for prep before you start. One, look at the recipe and make sure you have all the ingredients, okay? There are some ingredients on here that you're not gonna be able to get necessarily in your regular grocery store like a ShopRite uh, or a Publix. And one of those is cassava flour. Can you guys see this? Is it backwards? Probably because I didn't turn the thing around. But anyway, cassava is yucca. Do you guys know what yucca is? It's kind of a, it's like a root, it's yucca root, but it's a starchy type of vegetable. Anyway, you can get that on Amazon, but you can also get it in Whole Foods. That's where I had to run and get it. Another ingredient you're going to need is potato starch. It's backwards, so I might as well not even show you in the, in the window. Okay, you're going to need a pot of boiling water with one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Um, I mentioned earlier that I'm from New Jersey, but I live in Florida now. I'm so excited because today's the first day I'm wearing jeans in forever. If you can see out the window here, let me show you. Don't look at my messy counter. Ooh, it's still really nice out there. It's gonna get hot. So, okay. And I'm gonna put all these ingredients in there. Hey, everybody out there. Um, okay, so we've got the potato starch. Now, this is interesting because you're gonna need honey. And I don't know, you guys can hear my dogs. One cup of warm water. How many of you guys out there have used yeast before? And this, this is what's interesting. So you're going to want, you see this? Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Anyway, one cup of warm water. And this is not keto. Two tablespoons of honey. And this is raw unfiltered Florida honey. Okay and two and a half teaspoons of yeast. So you're gonna put that in there. And this, can you see this, guys? It's kind of, there, ah! I don't know if you can see it, but what happens is you're gonna let it, you're gonna mix that up, whisk it together, and you're gonna let it sit for five minutes because you want the yeast to kind of start to become active. And how you know it's active is if you're gonna see foam, okay? If none of that happens, it's the yeast is either too old or the water was too hot, so you wanna get rid of it and start over, okay? Are you guys with me? So we've got active dry yeast, potato starch, cassava, and almond flour, okay? And what else? Oh, pot of water with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. And this is what I used, okay? There's a everything bagel mix. Oh, hi, my friend, I'm making bagels. Yummy! Okay, so everything but the bagel sesame seasoning blend, and I got this at Trader Joe's. 
And this is important because in this recipe that I'm looking at, uh, it calls for a teaspoon of garlic, a teaspoon of minced onion, a teaspoon of chicken. Forget it, just use this, okay? It'll make your life easy. And this is what I'm gonna tell you. Here we go. You want one cup of almond flour. And I don't have the container of almond flour, it's here. I sort of just take my almond flour out and I put it in a thing like this. Okay, so I took a cup, I need to get more. One cup of almond flour, okay? And you're gonna put it in there. And then you want a cup of the cassava flour. Put it in here. And then this is tricky, three quarters of a cup, because this is like powder. It will, like if you breathe on it, you're going to be in a big cloud of potato starch, okay? So then, you want to whisk that all together, right? Whisk that together and add two tablespoons of the everything mix. And you whisk it all so it's blended up. Okay, now this is going to be the fun, the fun part. I'm telling you guys, hey, Heather, how was Charleston? I have never made these. So this is going to be interesting because this could be an epic failure, okay? I doubt it, but we'll see. Okay, so this is what, you've got your water, yeast, and honey, and this has been sitting here. It's kind of bubbly and active. Can you see it now? Yeah. And you've got the mix of flowers. My water, gotta check and make sure it's boiling because that's important. All right, we're gonna raise the temperature. Put your oven on 450, okay? Make sure you preheat that. So we're gonna blend this together. See, I'm already getting powder. Woo! There we go. Okay, so mix this together. Now, here's the thing. It should be kind of sticky, but you wanna be able to handle the dough. So what's gonna happen is, yeah. If it's too stick, if it's too sticky, you're gonna add a little bit of water. If it's not, sticky enough, you're going to add a little bit of cassava. So that is where, you know, your judgment comes in here, okay? So I can handle this, which is nice. It's, good. it's just the right consistency, okay? This is going to be, whew, you know what, I'm going to get a spatula right here. Did you see that little hunk of what a dough fly off? Okay, get a spatula. Make sure you get every little piece, okay? And this is this is what it looks like, okay? It's kind of so. I'm just smushing it together. Now it says there are two ways. Okay, so we're going to split this into six, all right? And I have this handy little mat here. I love this mat. It's nonstick. I got it from Pampered Chef, which. They have a lot of really neat stuff. Okay, so six portions. Um, how's that gonna look? I'll show you, hang on. One. So they're pretty even, they're not 100% they're not even. Okay, but you're gonna have dough that sort of looks maybe the size of a, a baseball, okay? So this is gonna be the fun part, guys, okay? Because you have to boil them, all right? Because I don't know if you've, who's worked in a bagel shop, anybody? Hey, oh, hey, John, oh my gosh, how are things going by you? It's been a roller coaster over here, and you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so, da, 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 da. all right, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, guys, so you're gonna roll it like a snake. And then, oh, see, this is tricky. Actually, there are two ways. You can roll it and put your thumb through the middle. Make sure your hands are clean, too. So we're doing this, okay? And you guys are stuck with me through the whole thing. <laughs> I was going to do this on YouTube and just do a video. Do you know what my son said to me? Mom, Facebook is dying. It's like MySpace. So, 
for any of you guys out there, Facebook is dying. It's like my my space. Okay. So this more looks like a tarale, tarale for those Italian people out there. Like, okay, I'm gonna try and smoosh it together to make it more like you know a closed bagel. Hi. Um, so paleo bagels. Uh, for those of you who just tuned in here, I'm making. I got this cookbook. Well, I've had it for a while. Can you read that? The new Yiddish kitchen. It's gluten-free paleo recipes. Um, I've made a few things from here, which I really like, but this, I have never made these bagels. I haven't had the opportunity, so I'm doing that today. Um, I am going to post the recipe, but one thing you do need that you may not get in the regular store is the cassava flour. Do you guys know, um, and I have to come closer because I don't have my glasses on. Yeah. Mike, they're not so keto friendly. Um, and does it have the nutritional value on here you know i'm gonna have to look it up honestly i just it's made with cassava i'm gonna do the nutritional content and i'll let you guys know what it is but there's cassava almond flour potato starch the water is boiling okay and you just have to be careful because you don't want i don't you don't want the bagel to fall apart not that it's going to do that. But anyway, how many of you guys, when I was in high school, um, I just, I was 16. I think it was at first before I could drive. Um, I worked in a bakery called Zaro's. And I used to have to sometimes go there really early, like for 5 a.m. And for a teenager, that's early. Uh, and the guy was there making bagels. And the true way to make bagels is they have to be boiled. Um, I don't know how they do the bagels here. Does anybody know how they do the bagels at Einstein's or Caribou? Anybody? Do they, do they boil them? I don't know if they do. Okay. So, um, I'm doing this. I'm kind of doing them all together. And I don't mind if you guys tune in and out. If you, you know, you're, you want to tune out and tune in. All right, let's, um, uh, see, I just dropped the top. This is real. Uh, I haven't made these before, but anyway, how many of you guys out there are doing the sugar detox, okay? Um, would you be able to have one of these bagels? Maybe. Maybe. It depends. I have to do the, nu the nutrition value. Um, I couldn't tell you right off the bat right now, but, you know, we'll give it a shot. Mainly, the thing with the sugar detox is you want to eliminate all added sugars, and here's my son, he's off of school today. Don't ask me why, they have another day off. Um, he needs a haircut. I gotta get, make an appointment because I don't cut hair. Hello. I'm making bagels. Can you, do you want to roll something? You want to roll? You have to roll it to a snake. Do you guys get your kids to help you? Mine really don't help me. So Not true. I help sometimes. Um, if you want to, you, you can roll the last one, but you have to wash your hands. I don't want to. No? Okay. Dominic, are there people making comments out there? Let's see. <gasps> Yay! We have a bagel place called Jersey Bagel. Where is that, Jersey Bagels? I miss the Jersey Bagels. We had a place in... New Jersey called Sheep's Head because it was at Sheep's Head, Brooklyn. Why is this lighting so good? But the light is there because Dominic is standing close to the light because he's like, because it has to light back here. There has to be enough light, otherwise we'll look really, really dark. Um, okay. me, me stepping in like this makes your live stream seem like Well, okay, so I just, this is the one, this is my son who told me the, oh God, you're in Wisconsin? Okay, no, there, there's a, it, look, you, if anybody wants really good New Jersey bagels, call Sheep's Head Bagels in Middletown on Route 35, and they will literally ship some to you, but I don't know how much that costs. Maybe they will. They have to freeze dry them. Um, their mini bagels are like a full-size bagel at Einstein, okay? That's how big they are. So, 
you know, and it's a good thing. I will tell you that those bagels, they will blow you up. I mean, blow you up. Like, you just, they're so, you know, probably eight servings of carbs in, in one bagel. All right, guys, so now, did you wash your hands? Okay, because we've got one more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these in. Here we go, guys. I'm just gonna put them on here. This should be interesting. Dominic is going to do, now you don't wanna dump them in, so use one of these slotted things, okay? Now, Dominic, roll, can you roll that one into like a six inch? These things weigh a ton, guys. They're like bricks, okay. So I placed all of those in. This is a special bagel map. Um, it's a pastry map. So what's gonna happen is this. You want to uh, watch the bagels. I have to go back and watch. And when they float to the top, that is when you're going to put it on, sim you know, you want it lightly boiling and then four minutes. Yeah, just okay. Boiling. All right, you did a roll. So now you're gonna, okay, this is good. So smush it like this. Double this. No. Double this size. Just make sure everything is close together, okay? So they're, they're starting to float. Is it smushed, smushed together? Okay, so give me this. Double that size. Okay. Uh, can I put it in? Yeah, yeah. put it in here. Okay, gently just, just put it down in there. Okay, so now. So what are you boiling them in? Water or just some kind of special thing? Good question. There's apple cider vinegar in the boiling water. Okay, so, hey, hey everybody. So if you guys are just coming on, I am making from this new Yiddish kitchen cookbook, um, everything bagels. They are gluten-free, paleo-free, kosher recipes. However, I wouldn't call them keto, okay, because it doesn't say how many carbs in here. I'm gonna do the nutrition th content and let you guys know, but half of one, surely, you know, you could throw it in. Um, tell me, what are you doing? I'm making something. What? I'm making something. No, he's getting chocolate chips, guys. I mean, he's off of school today. No, no, Dominic. No, let's go. Not now. All right, let's see, leave that out, because I want to heat it up. Okay, guys, so here comes the bagels are boiling, because that's how you make real bagels. You have to boil them. Um, and then, da 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 get them. Okay, sorry, because I don't, okay. Boil them for four minutes, prepared baking sheet, and sprinkle remaining tablespoon. Okay, here we go. All right, so now what it says, I'm gonna do this. Get some butter out of here, okay? Because it says a greased parchment paper. So what I'm going to do is get a stick of this Kerrygold butter, and I'm just gonna go like this. The timer's on, guys. It has to be four minutes, that's what it says. So, okay. Way to grease, I don't know. Oh, so you gotta grease the parchment. I love parchment paper. Okay. Greased enough. Okay. Wrap that up. I'll put that here. We're greasing the parchment paper. So now, after the bagels are done, boiling, okay, they're not done, cooked, baked. We're gonna put them on here. Two minutes to go, okay? And then you wanna take your sesame stuff, your everything but the bagel blend, and we're gonna sprinkle it on the bagels, and then put them in the oven for 20 minutes. So, I'm not gonna make you watch 20 minutes, unless you want to. <laughs> no, um, I'll post a picture when I'm done, okay? Um, okay, here's the important thing though. When you take the bagels out of the oven, you have to let them rest for half an hour before you slice, and then slice them, okay? 
All right, two minutes. Oh, these are looking good, guys. You want me to bring the camera over and show you? All right, the camera, my phone. Here we go. Ah, let me rinse my hands off because I have gel. Okay? Okay, I'm going to bring the phone camera over. Here we go. Ready? Here we go. Ah, sorry. Can you guys see? See what they look like? They're floating at the top. You don't want them to get stuck together though. But don't they look good? Don't they look good? Mm, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Now we're gonna put this back on here. Okay, we're back. I'm crooked. <laughs> I'm crooked, okay guys, there we go. All right, okay. Done, timer went off, turn that off. So now, take them out with a slotted metal. I have this thing. I, I wouldn't call it a spoon. A slotted metal. What do you call that? I don't know. I'm not a chef. I'm not a gourmet chef. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Okay, so this is done. Turn that off. Okay, so here are the bagels steaming out of the uh, pot. Hot. Okay. That's my dish towel. So now, that's why I like this thing. You can just sprinkle. Okay. Woo, look how nice that looks. Guys, these look awesome. Look at that. Okay. So I'm going to put them in the oven, 450 for 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I'm signing off, but I will post a little, um, you know, video blurb when they're done. And if you, and I'm gonna post the recipe. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day. And if you're doing the sugar detox, no sugar. All right, have a good one.